Hey man, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Listen, man. Benzino. <laughs> We're going to talk about Benzino, man, and we'll be back. Cash pad, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page, hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. Hey man, listen. Uh Cash App right on the screen if you want to donate. You know what I mean? Links in the description, PayPal, all that good stuff. Thank y'all for y'all donations. You know what it is. YouTube has uh did some finagling to our channel. So but we still here. We're gonna still do this. Look, man. So Benzino has some things to say on Drink Champs. We're gonna watch what he had to say about Eminem, and then we're gonna come back and give it and discuss. Let's go. Eminem, bro. <laughs> so, so which one? Fuck Eminem, so bro. Which one? Neither, fuck, fuck, fuck both of them, bro. <laughs> Fucking Cassidy will kill Eminem in a battle rap, bro. Right, Why right? do y'all give Eminem so much props? Why? Mm. Why do y'all like Eminem because he's white? Is nah, that it? Be, 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 what do you mean? Nah, like, what? I, 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 fuck that. We don't listen to that in the hood, bro. A few moments later. I don't got nothing against Eminem. I got nothing against Eminem. Eminem can rap. But I care about us more. I don't want to go through. I don't want to talk about it no more. I don't want to. For 22 years, every time I do an interview, they ask me about Eminem. The fuck you want me to do? Come on, man. My daughter came into the industry figuring that, hey, I gotta be cool with Eminem because everybody's against my dad. You think this shit is fucking cool? No, oh, man. We're failing as a people. Hey, man, I'm gonna let you go because I'm gonna light this nigga up. <laughs> Yo, I don't even know what to say, bro. I, I, I'm, I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless, bro. <laughs> You you might have to take the road on this one and then let me gather my thoughts, man, because <laughs> my, 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 I'm mind boggled right now, bro. Like, <laughs> then you tell me what bothers me about goofy motherfuckers like this dude, right? So let me get this right. So you go on Drink Champs to, to talk about Eminem, right? And you say, you know, Nobody listens to him in the hood. Obviously, because you heard of him. I'm from the hood. I heard of him. You heard of him. Everybody heard of Eminem. People need to stop this tired ass argument of niggas don't listen to Eminem in the hood. Everybody in the hood listen to Eminem. I wish niggas stopped saying that. That is the worst argument ever. Because everybody knows an Eminem song back to front. Go to his one of his concerts. I guarantee you, niggas from the hood knows the words to his songs. They might not know some of his other songs that's probably not popular, but trust and believe they know. So this goofy dude, he makes himself look makes himself look even worse now to me. Now he's ten times worse. Now he's below himself now. When he was Benzino, you had mumble rap, you had turn up rap, and then you had Benzino. He's below that now. How you become more trash? You get drunk and you say, oh, 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 I don't have no problem with Eminem. Yes, you do, dog. Your real feelings came out. You do have a problem. My daughter's in the industry and she says she has to be cool with Eminem. Like, come on, bro. Nobody goes around saying they have to be cool with Eminem. Bro. Nobody does that. But what makes me mad about him, what really disgusts me, is you can't hold your liquor, nigga. (laughs) (laughs) Mm. (laughs) (laughs) Nigga, you can't hold your liquor? 
You get like that? I can imagine if you in a relationship with a chick. I can imagine. And you get drunk and start crying. I ain't got no problem with you, girl. You know I love you. It's like, come on, bro. What are we doing here, though? Like, why are you so obsessed with Eminem? Like, why is he so obsessed with Eminem? Like, why? What? Like, what? What? What does it got? Like, why does it got to this point where now he looks even worse? If he, if people thought he won that battle after this, I know people saying, nah, he, he lost. <laughs> Eminem didn't even respond. He killed himself. Eminem didn't even respond. This guy kills himself. Like, what? You out here crying, homeboy? Now, don't get me wrong. Look, certain things he said when he was crying, I think was genuine. But it doesn't apply to a diss song. So he said something about, uh, we need to stop killing each other. Young boys need to stop killing each other. And it's like, okay, we get it. But that has nothing to do with Eminem. You know what I'm saying? That's, that has nothing to do with Eminem. But I understand. And that part, I'm not laughing at. I want y'all to understand that. Because that's serious. What he's saying is serious right there. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, and I agree with him on that. Young boys do need to stop killing each other. You know what I mean? Ain't getting no better. But I, w I wish these millionaires stopped acting like they hood still. That's my thing. Like, you don't, you, Benzino, you're not in the hood, bro. Like, c calm down. Like, stop using that as, as a way to, to, to uh, you know, pull your hood card or something. Like, come on, bro. Get your neck right, nigga. All right, man, go ahead. Oh, man. My man went through every drunk emotion known to mankind. He went through every drunk emotion known to mankind. You know what they say, right? When you get drunk, you know, it's, it's basically you start telling the truth. truth you know, sir. so if you if you if you really for one, for one, why did you have to, why did you have to take the truth serum in order to like tell the truth that you really don't have a problem with Eminem? You know what I'm saying? Like we can understand you having a problem with him back then, but that was like what, 10, 15, 20 years ago and now we're in 2024 and you still riding on the same issues that you had with Eminem back then listen for those of y'all who thinking that M got a pass as far as his uh whatever he put out tapes or whatever no one gave him a pass but he also apologized about it now if y'all don't accept the apology that's on y'all but some of us actually did. And on top of that, too, let me also say this, right? How are y'all getting mad at M for what he said on that record years ago, right? But y'all still let these other mofos out here continue to bash the culture and y'all don't say nothing to them. Y'all never say nothing. Y'all never question none of these other rappers for what they do and saying they music, but he does one thing because if you look at his track record, that's the only thing he did wrong. He does one thing and all of a sudden, like, it starts firing shots at him. But y'all never fire shots at these other guys. Y'all never say nothing to them. Y'all never question their integrity. Y'all mm -hmm. never do none of that. So how you pick and choose who you going to question or who you going to get mad at. It don't work like that. If you got the same energy with M, you got to have that same energy with everybody else. Simple as that. And, and, and I understand exactly what you're saying. And I'm going to say this real quick. Um, When you said, like, you see, you see, nobody cares, though. You see, they no. try to put that, they, they try to put that narrative out. What happened? Because people know, like, you can't paint that man out to be that way. That man, that, bro, you trying to tell me, you trying to tell me Eminem is racist, bro? Is that what, is that what Benzino was trying to tell people? That Eminem is racist? Eminem put on 50. Eminem put on, matter of fact, Eminem put on all black artists, except for one or two. 
Like his whole camp was you can't pull that. You can't pull that one, bro. And that's my whole point. That's my point. Yeah. That's my point. When you young, you do young boy dumb stuff. When you young, you say things out of anger. That's all it was. People do it every day. So now you're going to hold his head to the fire over that? Like, we, yo, we're in 2024, bro. Like, we're in 2024. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't. Like, I don't, I don't understand. And, and this, for, for one, listen, man. Cassidy written your bars, bro. Just say, you know what I'm saying? Just say Cassidy written your bars for that last disc because that vulturist, whatever that joint was called, that joint was grade A toilet water. Trash. Toilet water. Dookie juice. That joint, that joint was toilet water. You know what I'm saying? So let's just say that. This other disc, I don't care how good people saying it is. If somebody had to write it for you, then it's not your work, it's his work. So Cassidy battled Eminem, not you. But here's my you. I want to say something about that before we get out of here, right? This whole thing with, let's be clear here. Cassidy is nowhere near as good as Eminem. I'm just going to repeat myself. Cassidy is a watered down version of cannabis. Just understand that. You know what I'm saying? He is a watered down version of cannabis. Cassidy is another one. He, he, He's the, he appears to be good, but he's really not good. You know what I'm saying? As far as Eminem goes and Cassidy, right? There's a lot of people that can write bars that probably could get at Eminem. But it's a difference when he responds. See, when he responds, it's something totally different. And for you to say, Cassidy, you kill Eminem in a battle. That's what you hoping for. But you don't know that. You know what I'm saying? But all the greats take shots, but it does nothing to them. You shoot at Biggie took shots. Jay took shots. M took shots. Nas took shots. You know what I'm saying? Tupac took shots. And it done, it did nothing to them. So for you to say, oh, well, Cassidy could beat Eminem in a battle. That's dog shit. Period. And what on what level? Oh, he might write some bars that can that a sting. But Eminem can say one thing. Your career is done. That's it. I've been here for 30 years. You've been here for what? And people are still talking about you battling freeway. That's it. Other than that. But I didn't want to make this about him. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got you. You two know what I mean? Lame I only, balls, I only, two lame balls together anyway. They both lame balls. I, I only I only mentioned that. I only mentioned that for the simple fact that, you know, every everybody has come out and said that Cassidy written those lines for him in that last diss. And he's taking credit for that when I was like, well, you shouldn't take credit for it because it's not yours. But, you know, getting back to what I'm saying, listen, you know, Nobody's taking credit away from you as far as what you did with the source and all this other stuff. No one's taking credit away from you. But you got to hold this L for how you presented yourself on Drink Champs. You got to hold this L mm -hmm. for this battle against Eminem. You got to hold them L's. All, you got to hold all that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because it don't make no sense, you know? You had to get drunk just to tell the truth. It's crazy. You know what I mean? Man. But hey, and look, man. Whatever. We out of here. Scotch pod. See you later. Bye bye.